Clint Stoker's Fatal, a 52-page graphic novel versus Prime and a hydration drink. All right, gratuitous stats. For what it's worth, Prime is $1.88 at Walmart per bottle. Fatal for three graphic novels, $85. It's $2.95 an ounce versus $0.11.8 cents an ounce. And just for reference, Kobe Beef is $20 to $50 an ounce. Fatal. Flynn's Alien Termination Logistics comes shipped in a Gemini mailer. This is cover A. The illustrator for the graphic novel is Charlie Snogans. Included is a trading card pack. Unfortunately, no bubblegum. You do get five cards, though. Trading cards, I can take them or leave them. These are some uh, nice sketches in here, though. Did a good job on these. You get a bookmark, which I prefer. You get another trading card. You also get a sticker with Flynn on it. This is a nice sticker. Uh, you get posters. I really don't care for posters too much. They just end up in a comic. This is black and white edition, and I wasn't sure what this was. Gave it a tug. I wasn't sure if it was a sticker or a bookmark. All the books had it. It is autographed by Charlie Snogans, which is a nice touch. So let's just get on the Twitter here. Okay, so it's a book plate. Really don't know what they are. They do look cool. Okay, so it's a printed or decorative label that you paste into a book. So you just peel the back and paste it into the book. Cover B is by Chaz Walgamot. And that's Owen Wilson. It's really close. I don't know, what do you think? I think it's in the ballpark. I think it's probably Owen Wilson. The main character is Flynn. He takes jobs on different planets to eliminate alien pests. This time things are way more deadly than Flynn and his robot drone assistant Eldridge initially thought. Flynn's character design is reminiscent of a Iron Man, Star Lord, Wolverine, in both looks and personality. He's your roguish Han Solo type with a quippy Star Lord sense of humor. There's some funny moments in this comic, which is a hard thing to pull off. You have Moxie. She's got Moxie. Who just wants to get out of the bubble life and experience some excitement. She's not a spoiled brat type character, princess that you normally see. Her bodyguard, babysitter's kit. She's a lady who appreciates the luxuries and leisurely life that the bubble provides, and she smokes a lot. In fact, a lot of the characters smoke. You think they would at least vape or something with the advanced technology they have in space? You have a ruthless queen, Fasca. From beginning to end, this is uh, action-packed. Charlie Snogans can draw action and female characters. The ladies don't look bland or ordinary. That's what makes this comic fun. You want to hang out with these characters and watch them fight. We just jump right into the action. We learn about Flynn's fighting abilities and tenacity. Bear with me a second. Hear me out. I'm going to go on a tangent, so just bear with me. I'm reading Far Horizon. It's a short story compilation of science fiction novels. And there was this quote in there that kind of stuck out that I think would apply for graphic novels. Some people say you can't have everything. For instance, if a story offers action... It must lack philosophy. If it involves science, character must suffer. This has especially been said about one of the core types of science fiction, the genre sometimes called space opera. Is it possible to depict grand adventures and heroic struggles cascading across lavish future settings, complete with exploding planets and vivid special effects, while still coming up with something worth calling a novel? A comic book is not just about great art and writing, but also about how well the two come together to tell a compelling story. A great comic is one that captivates the reader from beginning to the end, leave them wanting more. It should have well-developed characters that are relatable and engaging with unique personalities and motivations that keep the reader invested in their story. It should be fun and enjoyable to read. If it leaves a lasting impression on the reader, then great, it's done its job. Art is a 9 out of 10. Charlie Snogans has a distinct style and design. I really enjoy his art and rendering of backgrounds, the aliens, and the characters. I hope to see more of him. Story is an 8 out of 10. This is a unique concept of an alien space exterminator. I'm curious to see where it goes. Kind of of a cliffhanger ending. We're just getting into it with this graphic novel. 
characters are an 8 out of 10. This is a shining point for me. I want to hang out with them and watch their interactions. They all don't get along perfectly. There, there is some tension. They have distinct personalities. I want to learn more about them. Value. This is a 9 out of 10. I've read it twice and will reread it again. It's got action, hints at a possible romance. It won't be a shelf queen. I will get some coffee stains on it. Okay. Paul Jogan's Prime, a popular hydration drink amongst the world's best backyard athletes. Let's see what's in the bottle. We got blueberry, it's 25 calories, orange is 20, not too bad. Not loaded with a lot of sugar, that's good. Vitamins, potassium, that's good. Vitamin A, E, some Bs, along with magnesium, which is good for men and their libido, or so I've been told. $1.88 a bottle is almost two times as expensive as Gatorade. I guess you got to make that choice yourself. All right. All right, I have a cold beer glass. I'm not a fan of blueberry flavored drinks and candy, but this is not too bad. Not too bad. Kind of surprised here. I'd drink that again. Not great, but good. Okay, orange now. I usually like orange flavored drinks, soda and candy. Yeah, this tastes pretty good too. Kind of surprised here. Prime ain't too bad. How well it works after a hard workout, I wouldn't know. I'd have to exercise and find out, and that's not going to happen anytime soon. It's a 7 out of 10. I would prefer a Gatorade most of the time. Uh, I like the sucrose sugary taste, but these prime drinks uh, I would recommend. Okay, final scores. Fatal, 85%. Prime, 70%. Fatal wins. It was close, but I really enjoyed reading Fatal more than drinking Prime. All right, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Bye bye. You filthy animal.